hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i have this makeup look inspired by lady gaga's new character in american horror stories and it is the witch of the woods it's all using eyeshadows and things like that it's very doable so if you'd like to see how i got this makeup look for halloween then please keep watching First, I'm taking a Simples Dual Effect Eye Makeup Remover to take off my eye makeup from earlier on in the day. It's an oil and water formula, so after shaking the bottle, I'm soaking my cotton pads with the remover and pressing it against my eyes for a few moments before wiping away. And this is also really good at removing waterproof eye makeup. So because it's made from an oil and vitamin enriched water, after shaking the bottle, it removes waterproof eye makeup, so it's perfect to even take off Halloween makeup. There's also no artificial color or perfume, so it's really gentle on the eyes. And there's vitamin E in the remover as well so it leaves your lashes really super nourished and it doesn't sting your eyes either moving on to the base i'm using my bobby brown enriched face base cream all over my face to moisturize my skin and once i was done with that i went straight onto foundation for foundation i used my mac face and body foundation this is in the shade c3 it's slightly lighter than my face at the moment because i do have a bit of a tan but um i did want to have a slightly lighter foundation for this look so i'm just pressing that all away and blending it away with my beauty blender then taking the bourgeois irradiance reveal concealer i am putting that underneath my eyes on the bridge of my nose a little bit on my chin and my forehead to conceal and kind of brighten and highlight the face and again, just blending everything away with my damp beauty blender. And once everything was blended away, I used my Kat Von D Locket Powder. I'm absolutely in love with this stuff recently. I am setting all the areas where I placed the concealer first and kind of pressing that into the skin and then slightly dusting it also all over my face so that everything is set and any kind of powder we put on top is gonna blend really seamlessly. For my brows, I use the ABH Brow Wiz and I filled them in really quickly, kind of off camera and I made sure that the front was quite feathered and locking everything in place as always with my goof proof no ready set brow by benefit as well and once that was all done it was time to move on to the eyeshadow so I'm using the eyeshadow insurance by Too Faced and I'm putting that all over my eyelids and also underneath my eyes as well because we were gonna add some like eyeshadows and things and I didn't want anything to crease and here I'm just setting everything in place so none of that budges and the eyeshadows are easier to blend so I'm using the new Ciate and Chloe Morello palette and I'm taking this shade here first and working that into a crease as the transition shade so what I'm doing with this is I'm kind of pulling that up into the inner upper kind of corner of my eyebrow um, and this is just going to give that really sunken in kind of effect which is definitely what Lady Gaga had in the Witch of the Woods character that she played. Then I'm taking this shade which is slightly darker and I'm deepening that inner corner and slightly blending it out into the crease as well just to add more depth to the whole look and just to give it that sunken in kind of look and feel to it and I'm slowly building up the color until I'm happy with the way it's looking and slightly kind of contouring my nose. Now taking a mixture of these two shades it's got kind of like a purpley undertone when I mix them and it kind of looks like bruised skin so that's kind of the look that I was going for so I am putting that into the inner corners of my eyes and then also slightly dragging that down underneath my eyes and down the sides of my nose and making sure everything is really nice and blended away taking these two shades here I am basically just adding shadow and depth wherever I felt like it needed it and I was trying to kind of mimic the picture reference that I had as well so just adding color where I felt like it needed it and taking a clean fluffy blending brush to kind of blend away any harsh edges now taking the modern renaissance palette I'm taking this shade right here because I really wanted like a dark like deep red color on my eyelids so I'm adding that onto my eyelids but when I actually got it on my eyelids I was like Mm, it's looking a bit too like red so I did go over the top with this shade just to kind of deepen that red a little bit more um, and it's a really nice matte brown shade you want to make sure that you're using all matte colors for this look because you don't want any shimmer on your eyes so here I'm just kind of blending and adding any kind of colors where I feel like it needs it so here I felt like I definitely needed a bit more definition in the crease so I'm taking that deep purple shade and I'm applying that into the crease to kind of deepen it and also underneath my eyes to make sure everything's again just blended away and also working slowly on the nose contour because I wanted to make sure that it looked really kind of almost like weirdly natural looking. Um, and then taking this matte highlight shade, I'm applying that to my brow bone and also slightly down the bridge of my nose. 
time to work on the eyeliner. I'm using this Makeup Forever Aqua Eyeliner and I'm lining my upper and water, upper and water? Upper and lower water lines. Um, and then I'm also kind of smudging it on my upper and lower lash lines and blending that out just so it gives it that really kind of grungy look to it. And to make sure that's really nice and blended on the eye, I'm taking my Naked Ultimate Basics palette and taking this shade right here. And I'm using that to kind of blend that dark kind ofness away and kind of just making it really nice and diffused but still showing like there's a dark lash line. For mascara I went in with my roller lash and I am coating my top lashes and also my bottom lashes. I did want this to have a hint of glam to it so I did add some falsies at the end uh, but this is just so that my eyelashes have a nice coat. Now it's time to contour the heck out of my face and I'm using the Kevin Aquan Sculpt Powder in the shade medium and I'm slowly building up the contour on my cheeks, my forehead and anywhere else where I felt like I wanted to add that kind of grungy kind of almost like I've been in the woods for a really 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 long time kind of look so you can see what I'm doing kind of here and just slowly deepening all the areas up for lips I went in with this MAC lipstick here you can basically use Myth by MAC because it's a very like nude 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 color so I'm putting that all over my lips and then blending all of the edges away with my beauty blender because it was looking way too pale um, you can actually use foundation or concealer as well but I decided to use lipstick because it's more comfortable to wear take my flash palette in these two colors I'm basically making my face look really dirty so <laughs> I'm applying it around the corners of my mouth and then also like the center of my mouth as well and then I'm just adding it to random areas of my face and using my fingers to kind of blend it out and almost look like I've just kind of like smeared mud on my face and also my chest because you don't want to forget that you don't want to have like this really makeup up face and you're forgetting your neck and your chest um, I'm taking this deeper kind of red color and just deepening up the areas where I felt like it needed a little bit more kind of dimension and depth to the look here I've applied my lashes. These are the backstage lashes in the style, I think it's Chelsea. Um, it's one of my favorite styles. And now I'm just deepening up the kind of bruised purpley color into the areas where I felt like it needed it because it's always the case when you put your like lashes and things on that you feel like you're missing product in certain areas. Now it's time to work on the hair. I am back combing my hair. I'm just doing the like front layer I'm not worried about like the inside layer because I just wanted to make sure that my hair wasn't damaged or anything so I'm just back combing away so the sides and the back and then also I am hairspraying everything in place because we want to look like we've just not washed our hair in ages and this is a headband that I found on Amazon Lady Gaga was actually wearing like almost like a kind of animal skull kind of thing I couldn't find anything similar so this is the best that I could do then I actually decided to glam this look up a little bit more so I'm using the Artist Couture Highlight in the shade Gold Digger. It's a really beautiful kind of goldy um, highlight and it's in powder form so I'm just applying that to the tops of my cheeks just to add a hint of glamour to this look and that is the final final makeup look i really hope you guys enjoyed this look i love that it's just using eyeshadows and lipsticks and cream products and things like that it's very achievable you don't have to go out and buy like fake blood or anything like that um and yeah this is the final look so i really hope you guys enjoyed it a massive thank you to simple for sponsoring this video and yeah i hope you're enjoying my other halloween look so far and i guess that is all for now you guys and i will see you all in my next video bye